Hi and welcome to this video on City Self Sufficiency in which we're going to be taking a quick look at the aquaponics unit that's now set up and ready to go. So first thing we'll do is we'll just have a little look at the pond outside. So first thing I've done is I've given the pond a good clean out. It's gone a bit green at the moment because I've stirred up the silt at the bottom so the algae started to grow as we come into spring. That's alright though, that'll all get cleaned up. What I've done is we've got a pump that's sitting on a couple of bricks of the base. It's not quite sitting right on the bottom of the pond. I don't want it to suck up all of the silt. But so it's sitting yeah, about that far up off the bottom of the pond. The pond goes down by about a metre, so it's quite deep. And it's a 1,400 litre pump in a 1,000 litre pond. So it's going to be shifting more than the volume of the pond per hour, but it won't be on for that long anyway. So it's attached to this pipe. It's going to pump the water up here. It travels through here into the aquaponics unit, which is just there inside the polytunnel. It'll flow through the beds and then it'll come back out through this is my outlet pipe back into the pond where the fish will be. So the water gets pumped from the pond and then comes into the polytunnel here. It then fills up this bed first. At this point you can see we've got two pipes connecting the two beds, each one guarded by a mesh that I've cut out of an old mushroom tub. That's just to make sure that they don't get clogged up. So once that bed's filled, it then fills up this bed. And you can see there, I've just used an old bird feeder to protect the outlet pipe. I'll just get a little bit closer. You can just see the outlet pipe down at the base there. That's where the water flows out from the beds. It then goes back out of the polytunnel and back into the pond, which is just through there. If you could just about make out the pipes. So there are a couple of different ways that you can set up aquaponics. You can either have it as a deep water system where you float the plants on top of the water. The roots grow through into the water and that's how they get their water and their nutrients to grow. The fish are obviously living in the water underneath. Mine, I've tried doing that before in the past actually and I found it didn't really work and having the pond in here took up too much space from growing other plants. So the pond is now outside and instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pump to push the water to the beds which will be inside and then the pond can stay outside. Now, some people rely on a system called bell and siphon, which is where you literally have the outlet pipe has a bell on top of it that when the water rises, rises up to a certain level, it causes a siphon and it draws all of the water out. And again, I've tried that one in the past as well and I didn't find that it worked very well. I find that they tend to clog up really easily. And as soon as it does, you've got problems with water overflowing and yeah, they're a pain. I don't really bother with them anymore. So instead what I'm using is one of these. So this is just a timer. It'll fit on the pump on the outdoor um, electrical socket. When I go around to that one, it's got little notches running around the outside of it so that I can set it to run for 15 minutes out of every hour. So the, pul the pump will be on for 15 minutes, water flows in, flows out the other side, the water will just cycle through for that 15 minutes and then it'll switch off completely for the next 45. That's to give the plants time to grow without having water constantly flowing over the roots. So water comes in, it drains out, then it'll sit and just wait 45 minutes before it starts up again. Also, these beds aren't actually planted with anything yet. At the moment, it's just the clay pebbles that are in there. And I'll be looking at getting them planted up after I've added a few more fish to the pond. There's no point putting it in when it's just going to be water cycling around. There needs to be something for the plants to feed on. So that'll be the next stage. The next stage will be adding fish to the pond and that'll be the next video. So yeah, I'm just going to leave this one running for a few days just to make sure everything is cycling absolutely fine. There's no blockages, there's no chance it's going to overflow. And then once I'm confident that everything is working, we'll look at adding in a few more fish. <laughs> 